So this question says, which quadratic equation has exactly one distinct real solution? So anytime a question on the SAT describes the type of solutions that you have, whether real or not real, exactly one or two or no solutions, a good point of reference is something called the discriminant. Now the discriminant doesn't work when you have a system of equations, which could also say that you have no solutions, um, but it does work whenever you have a quadratic equation. And again, this is the structure for a quadratic equation, ax squared plus bx plus c equals zero. So all of our answer choices are in the proper format. So the discriminant is b squared minus four ac. And if b squared minus 4ac is greater than 0, you will have two real, two distinct real solutions. If b squared minus 4ac is equal to 0, you will have one real solution, which is what we're looking for here. And if it is less than 0, you will have no real solutions, which basically means you'll have two imaginary Okay, so here's where we want to be. We want our b squared minus 4ac to equal 0 in order to have one real distinct solution. So for us, let's see, we have to basically do this process for each of these answer choices. So I'm going to erase these review notes here for the time being. I'm going to replace my discriminant up here so you can still have it in sight. And then for choice A, we know that A equals 1, B equals 4, and C equals 16. So B squared would be 16 minus 4AC would be 4 times 1 times 16. And we want that to equal 0, which is going to not be the case. Of course, if we have 16 here, I need this to also equal 16. So we'd have 16 minus 16 equals 0. So if you did the math there fully, you will see that that's not equal to zero. So choice A is gone. We'll do the same thing for choice B, where A is one, B is negative eight, and C is negative 16. So therefore B squared would be 64 minus four times A times negative 16. This is actually going to work because negative four times one is negative four. Negative four times negative 16 is positive. Actually, this is not gonna work. Um, positive 64, so we'd have 64 plus 64, so that's also not going to work. That's going to not be equal to zero, so that's gone. But that almost worked, right? So that takes my eyes down to choice D, which basically looks just like choice B, except our 16 is positive here. So I'm going to try that one next, where A is 1, B is negative 8, and C is positive 16. Here, B squared would be 64 minus 4 times A times 16, which is C. And here we would have 64 minus 64, which does equal zero. And therefore choice D is the correct answer.